Okay, uh, I will uh, start by uh, share my screen. So, Okay, can you see my screen? Yes. Okay, so uh, good afternoon, uh, everyone, and welcome to uh, this webinar. And uh, I can see that some person are not in the project. So uh, this webinar is organized by a uh, big data stack um, team. And um, um, the goal is to, to show how to create Kubernetes operators with uh, Python. And um, to be able to understand the content of this uh, webinar, uh, knowledge in guys, Python. Can you hear me? Yes, correctly, Demos. Okay. So to be able to understand the content of this uh, webinar, uh, knowledge in Python and some uh, basic knowledge in Kubernetes uh, is required. So um, if you know what is a pod, what is a service, and on Kubernetes, you will be able to, to understand without um, difficulties the content. And from my side, I will uh, make the explanation easier and uh, understandable. Okay, and uh, during the webinar, feel free to interrupt me if you have any question, any suggestion. Okay, so um, as I was saying, we will uh, see how to how to create a Kubernetes operator using Kubernetes operator's Pythonic framework. And uh, uh, this is a Python-based framework uh, for creating Kubernetes operators. It has very good documentation and uh, it's very simple to use. So even if your component is created in another language, for example, in Java, you can um, develop your operators in uh, Python uh, if you wish, and to deploy your application since uh, operators are handling containers. Okay, so um, uh, yeah, our operator will be able to deploy to big data stack subcomponent, and uh, the operator will deploy two pods and automatically create services uh, allowing communication between them. So I will say something. Uh, regarding um, the services. Um, services are used in Kubernetes and OpenShift uh, for allowing communication between two pods. So one pod can have one or many uh, containers. Okay, so um, uh, since we are not all from Big Data Stack, I will introduce myself. My name is uh, Jean Didier, and I am one of uh, developers of Big Data Stack platform. I completed my master degree at the University of Piaos in Greece in advanced information system. And now I'm involved in uh, many projects in cloud and edge computing. And uh, for those who, who, who don't have a knowledge in uh, uh, big data stack platform, big data stack is an horizon project uh, for management of data intensive applications. Okay, so uh, let's um, start by um, defining um, what is uh, a Kubernetes operator. So uh, operators are um, software extension um, uh, to Kubernetes that makes use of custom resources to manage applications and their components. Okay, this is the official um, definition. <laughs> what I want you to understand is that uh, it's like an application controller. So the operator uh, encodes the knowledge of an, ap an application. So in, in a, an operator can deploy an application. It can monitor an application as it runs uh, because um, since it can extend some Kubernetes API, it will be able to do manipulation on resources deployed on the cluster. So um, let's see um, some use cases where uh, operators can be used. So an operator can be used to uh, deploy an application on demand. We will cover uh, this case. And uh, the operator can also be used to uh, take and restore backups of an application state. An operator can be used to upgrade um, and 
uh, to upgrade uh, an application and operator can be used to publish a service. We will cover uh, this case as well. Uh, an operator can be used to simulate the failure. For example, if you want to deploy uh, an application on Kubernetes or on OpenShift and your application depends on a, a, a database, you want to make sure that the database is up and running before deploying your application. So you can um, use uh, an operator um, to test if the database or any kind of dependencies is ready before deploying your application. And um, the last uh, use case is very interesting. Uh, an operator can, uh, can be used for choosing a leader for a distributed application without an internal member election process. For those who are used uh, with uh, cloud distributed applications, and um, most of the time you have to, 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 to implement a mechanism of um, um, election. Uh, between uh, different replicas, you need to find which, uh, what, which replicas will be the master. So if you are uh, deploying your application on Kubernetes or, or OpenShift, you can use an operator to implement this functionality and very easily. Um, any questions so far? Okay, no. And uh, I will say some few words regarding the uh, the operating, uh, the monitoring engine of uh, the big data stack, and uh, and to to demonstrate how t um, a, an operator is used um, in these um, components. Okay, um, for those who would not know, um, the monitoring um, engine collects and aggregate metrics uh, of uh, the platform and also evaluate uh, the, uh, based on the application of the objectives defined in the SLO, in the SLA agreement. So um, in the architecture, you can see that the monitoring engine has many components and uh, deploying all those components in a traditional way is uh, not easy task and it can easily lead to uh, mistakes. And um, we want also uh, the monitoring engine um, to be um, um, able to add Prometheus instance as the number of application to monitor increases. So can you see my mouse? Are you able to see my mouse? I don't think so. They try to move it. Try to move it. Yeah. Oh, now? Yes, yes. Now? Yes, yes. You see something. Okay. So, by, by the way, uh, you have uh, in the, in when you are sharing, you can uh, do some annotation, and one of the options of annotation is the pointer. So, maybe that's what you are using. I don't know. Yeah. So, I, I find the pointers. It's uh, easier to use. Thank you. Okay. So, uh, for scalability reason, uh, we want to have the possibility to add uh, Prometheus instance as the number of application to monitor increases. So, um, we want to um, to to create, um, if needed, a, a new Prometheus instance. And for doing that, for uh, performing the integration with the monitoring engine, we will have to create another component a sidecar component, which is a component from the Thanos project, and um, assigning the Prometheus uh, instance created to the sidecar. Then we will have to create a service of the sidecar. And in the end, we will have to modify the query component for uh, targeting the sidecar. So, uh, doing um, all those op operations uh, without um, an operator is very, very difficult because you have to stop um, a, a pod, then apply modification. But the, 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 the operators we built uh, can um, uh, perform those tasks automatically. Okay, so now um, uh, let's um, uh, see. Um, what we are going to do today. So our demo uh, will be the, um, to, to demonstrate a, a, a Kubernetes operator. And the operator we are going to show today is an initial version of the completed um, uh, operator we built for uh, the monitoring engine.
So in today's um, webinar, we will show how to to create and uh, deploy a, a Prometheus instance and how to create a Prometheus service and how to create Grafana instance and Grafana service. So if we have time in the end, we will show um, the full version of uh, Um, um, let's go and see um, the steps uh, required for uh, creating um, an operator. So uh, the first thing we will have to do uh, for building a Kubernetes operator is to create a custom resource definition. So what is a custom resource definition? Um, uh, a, a resource definition is an endpoint in the Kubernetes API that stores a collection of API objects of a certain kind. Okay, this is the official uh, definition. So what you can understand over here is that uh, an operator usually defines its own Kubernetes resource on which it's going to, to operate. So um, let's go and see um, the YAML file of um, uh, the custom resource definition. Uh, can you see clearly the uh, the code, this YAML file? Can you see the content clearly, or do I need to zoom somehow? No, it works fine. Ah, okay, okay, okay. Thank you. In uh, this um, custom resource uh, definition, um, um, you will have to define the uh, the type of resource you want to to operate um, with your uh, operators. So we, we need to, to specify uh, some important information to remember over here. It's the, the name of uh, the step that you want to create. So each component will have this kind. And you need to provide and the, the name in plural and in singular. And you also need to to provide the short names. So we will see in practice how to use those informations. So, and the group uh, information is also required and um, you can specify different versions um, if you want different behavior of um, uh, the operator based on the, the specific version, you can apply different logics. We, we, we can see it um, when we are going to analyze the logic parts of our uh, uh, operators. Okay, and um, to be able to create these objects, you need the administration right. So on Kubernetes, on uh, Big Data Stack, you will have to talk with uh, Luis to give you the um, a, a enough right to to create this kind of object. Okay, so uh, let go back. To those file in a repository useful links are provided so you will be able to to see them uh, offline and to to have some um, better understanding of uh, those contents so over here in the service account um, the most impo important information is the name of uh, uh, the service we want to create. So the type is Trooper Monitoring Engine Operator. Okay, so uh, let's go and see um, uh, the, the third step. The third step is to create a cluster uh, role binding. Um, so uh, as uh, the operator needs the right to create resource in the cluster, in our case, we need the right to create pods and service so we will have to um, to provide the administration uh, role to our operators. So this is uh, done uh, uh, via the uh, the cluster. Um, what it is? It's binding. Okay. So this is done uh, with the cluster role binding. So you will see that we 
um, we have uh, over here the service account when we provide the name um, that we 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 put in the service account so those two names should match so pay attention to to this detail and um, um, we need also the role reference um, over here we are providing the cluster administration uh, role so you can also, um, if you go to uh, Kubernetes or OpenShift documentation, you will see some uh, detail regarding this um, uh, type of uh, resource on Kubernetes. So you can uh, uh, provide some um, specific information instead of doing a general, this is a general way of, um, of um, um, having the right of creating uh, uh, ports and, and service. Okay, so now we can um, directly go to our um, uh, our cluster. So I'm using a mini Kube project, uh, which is very light version of Kubernetes for testing purpose. So now um, let's see what do we what do we have. Um, um, we don't have um, anything deployed yet. Okay, um, so over here, there are the files. So we are going to start uh, creating um, the um, um, custom resource definition, which are in the CRD YAML. So we can create it like this, CRD. Okay, so they are created. So now if we, we go and um, display all the CRD, so we should see our um, CRD created, okay? And the second step uh, was to create the service uh, account. So now let's uh, apply the change, okay? They are, it's created. So, and uh, the last step is to create an, uh, a, a binding. Binding is over here. Okay, so they are created. So if we display the service account, we have our service account created. And um, uh, also the, the binding um, assigned the, the, the administration role to our, um, um, to our custom resource. Okay, so um, let's go back to our presentation. And uh, the last step is to, to deploy an operator. Okay, uh, before deploying the operator, we are going to see um, the logic parts of the operator and the most important uh, information that we are going to, to provide during this webinar. So uh, you can see in this file handler.py, uh, I, I, I wrote the logic of uh, this uh, uh, operator. Uh, this is the initial version. In the end, I will show you the, the full version. Um, you can name this um, uh, file as you want. And um, yeah, so the logic over here to, um, if you want to implement any kind of um, or scenario um, with uh, an operator, is to, to understand how uh, Kubernetes API are linked with uh, your operators. So. Um, you can see over here that we have um, um, uh, functions and uh, we have some decorators. So in Python, for those who, who are not familiar with uh, Python, um, uh, decorators uh, allow to, to, to give some, um, to, uh, to extend um, a functionality uh, of a function without modifying it. So um, uh, you can see that we have some um, uh, functions and some decorators. So uh, what is going to be uh, performed over here, it's like uh, uh, we will link uh, some uh, operation in the cluster with a function defined in the operators. For example, uh, for each operation, um, uh, uh, for each creation operation, for example, for create, and for apply. So uh, uh, since we have, we register our um, our operators, um, this uh, function create will be um, 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 
um, called automatically because um, of, um, of this definition. So um, this uh, the function will be uh, the the operator will be called if the definition we provide matched with uh, information we have over here. So just uh, you can remember in our definition we provided the group and we had a name. So um, um, if the group that you provide in your the object matched with uh, the group declare here in your uh, your 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 operators, so this function will be uh, triggered automatically. And uh, you, you can uh, you remember what I just said regarding the version. Over here you have a version. So you can have uh, the same function, a create uh, function, and for a different version. So if you want to create another type of uh, pod in a certain way, uh, maybe you can declare another function, the version two, for example, if you want to perform some advanced operation, something like that, based on your need. So you can uh, freely create another uh, create function, um, but in the in the decorator uh, provide the the other version that you are going to 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 to, to create. Okay, um, is there any question until now? Okay, so uh, regarding uh, the curators, uh, we have uh, the create operation. So um, the um, the function that will be um, 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 the code, if I can use the word, uh, with this kind of decorators will be triggered automatically on create operation from the SLI. So you can see that I also assigned the resume um, action. So each time your um, your your operator um, uh, starts, um, uh, if um, uh, the kind of object handled by this operators is present in the Kubernetes API. So this function create will be called automatically. And also when your operator uh, restarted, restarts, uh, this function is also called automatically. And we are also, uh, we are also using uh, the delays. So each time you call um, Kubernetes um, delays, if it's a kind of your uh, resource, uh, and let's so uh, this uh, uh, function will be uh, triggered automatically. And you can see that um, the the function uh, receives some parameters. You have the body, uh, which correspond to the content of the YAML file you provided, and um, you have the the, the specs and some uh, specs, and you have others parameters. So you can go to the documentation if you want to have uh, further uh, information regarding um, um, those functions. Okay, um, for now I will I will show you um, what uh, what we we used to do without an exporter an operator, sorry, and um, the difference um, uh, in deployment using the operator. So in, in uh, before, uh, to without an operator to deploy a, a Prometheus instance, we need to define all this file, we need to have all this file, all the information uh, regarding the, um, the image we are going to, um, the image we are going to use, it's uh, somewhere, it's over here, the image we are going to use, the port we need to specify, and uh, the arguments required by Prometheus. And um, since we need to mount some volumes, we need also to provide information regarding the volume, etc., etc. So, um, but after having created the operator, what we will provide is just this information. So you can see how easy it will be uh, the deployment of a component using a, a, an operator. Um, because from uh, this type, um, your operator will understand that you want to deploy a Prometheus and it knows how to deploy a Prometheus because you are going to uh, program the logic of deploying this kind of object, this kind of uh, component, this kind of resource. Is it... Uh, clear until here do you have any question
Any question? No? Okay. Um, let's um, go. Um, I was saying that your your the function is uh, receiving some uh, parameters. Uh, the body will correspond to um, all the contents, everything that you have provided over here. And the specs, it's uh, only this part. You can provide other information if needed. And um, yeah, so um, what we want to do in our um, operators, uh, we want to uh, to be able to uh, um, deploy a Prometheus um, and also Grafana. Okay, so um, we need to uh, distinguish uh, those two uh, types. So each time we would like to, to, to deploy a Prometheus uh, object, we will specify uh, Prometheus over here. And if you want to deploy Grafana's, um, we, want, we will specify Grafana in the type object. In the name, you can specify any kind of name you want. Um, and you can have, um, for the same type, you can have many uh, Grafana's type. You can have Grafana's uh, main, you can have Grafana's for CEP, et cetera, et cetera. Okay, so um, uh, let's go over here. Um, uh, so um, you can um, 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 ask yourself, how uh, do you, uh, how can you know the structure of uh, uh, these uh, these parameters? So as I said, it's just this um, the objects that you provide. So since you have in the route of um, this. Um, uh, YAML file, you have uh, metadata, so you can um, use metadata directly, and you have uh, after that a name, so you can receive also a name uh, um, over here. So it's very, it's very, uh, very simple to use. Okay, some information are added automatically by um, Kubernetes API, for example, the namespace. Um, you can see that uh, you don't have any namespace over here, but uh, you can use the namespace and screen to, to receive the namespace where you deploy your, your operator. And over here I have the, the specs um, object, um, which is um, the specs that you are seeing over here, and I can receive the type. So if the type is uh, Prometheus, I know that now I want to deploy a Prometheus uh, object and I can prepare uh, the image, the port and the arguments and also provide uh, information regarding the volume. And okay, so I will, I will explain uh, later uh, volume. So um, after having received the type and you know what kind of uh, object you want to, to deploy in your, your uh, in the cluster, uh, you will prepare the ports because for um, even if you are deploying um, Prometheus, you are deploying um, Grafana, any type of um, uh, port you want to create, the template is the same. So you can um, again ask yourself uh, where do do I uh, uh, where did I get this uh, uh, this template? Easy. Uh, it's just the template of uh, this um, put. So um, for those who already, uh, you can remember that you created something like this. You had something like this. Uh, if you you never deploy a, so this is the definition um, of a put. So what I uh, I did for make uh, my life easier, I just copy. Um, CML content, and I JSON. It was um, um, a very good solution. So it's very uh, uh, customize your uh, deployments. You can do a lot of. Uh, so over here, you can see that um, you, after having translated um, your YAML to a, a, a JSON, you have a structure. So it's um, the uh, essential parts of the structure that you are going to use. So the common parts uh, that you are going to use. So let's go back over here. You will see that I have the version and I have metadata and I have the specs. 
So for each uh, metadata, I have the the um, and the API version, and I have the metadata for the port. So for each kind of uh, port that you will like to to create, you will have uh, those information. Um, uh, because it's uh, starting, uh, starting getting difficult. So if you have any uh, question, please interrupt me and ask a question. Okay, so after having uh, defined a, a template of a port and a template of a service, because we for uh, each object we want to deploy, we want also to create a service for it, to allow communication um, um, uh, with um, uh, service which, with, with uh, components which are not in the same port. Okay, so um, I just copy uh, the structure and I replace um, a variable where I need to, to customize. So uh, since I want the name of the port to be the name uh, provided in the, uh, the, the YAML file by the, by the user. So uh, I, I take the name and I put it uh, over here. So uh, feel free to, 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 to customize it to make it um, for um, um, to, to make it um, as you want, as you as you wish. Okay. So and over here, I'm going to 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 start um, handling my my components. So if I receive the type uh, Prometheus, I will uh, prepare the image of Prometheus. I will prepare the ports of Prometheus and some arguments uh, require to start a Prometheus uh, containers. So over here, uh, if you want to deploy your components, your own components, you know what your components require, you know the image of your components, you know which ports your components needs. Uh, Sometimes you have many ports over here. So um, um, you can um, um, see that uh, the port element is um, a, in an array. And so you can uh, provide um, another uh, port if you had, for example, uh, you had two ports, um, something like um, something like this. Okay. So over here you can, uh, for the first one, you can uh, use this one. Okay. Like this. And um, uh, you can create another object and provide uh, the value one for the second one. So you are uh, free to, to, to implement any kind of logic you, you want. So I will show you in the, the final uh, version, the full version of uh, 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 this um, uh, operator, how does it look like? Okay, so we have the image and the port, and we have the arguments required by um, this type of components to be deployed. And, um, uh, I will create the, 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 I will add the containers information. So again, it's uh, what I was saying, um, after having uh, translated your YAML uh, file into a, a JSON, so you have exactly um, the, you have the, the structure and you know um, how to put information so you have uh, specs where you have containers, okay? And you can uh, put uh, inside the name of your container and the, the image, you can put the ports, et cetera, et cetera. So it's exactly what I'm using over here. So over here, you, you just need to, to, to translate the, uh, the port uh, YAML to a JSON and to replace information when you, you need to replace them. Okay, and um, 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 you will uh, prepare your port uh, by providing information required, and you will also uh, need um, service by providing information required. Okay, and um, um, you you can see that for Grafana it's easier than um, um, Prometheus because Prometheus needs some arguments, needs some um, uh, volumes. 
Um, okay, and um, um, before going to Grafana, I will um, show something um, how I structure uh, this um, um, uh, the, the the volume part. Um, I put uh, the volume information into a JSON file. Jean Didier to perform this operation. But if you you, you want to um, to be able to write also in the file, so it's better. It's um, um, you, you can use volume for that. So if you have a, the type uh, this the config map uh, type, um, it's for um, in read uh, read only. Um, but if you have persistent volume. Um, you want your data to persist on your hard disk after having delayed it, the, the port, so you can use the persistent volume. Okay. And um, so what I wanted to show um, over here is that um, I put on the JSON file information regarding um, the volume because it's huge information. I didn't want to put them directly um, in my... Um, um, in my um, uh, the logic parts of the uh, 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 operator, and um, from that I'm going to read the file and load the JSON into a variable. So um, over here, what I'm doing, I just um, um, insert the information in the template of the put. Um, so I put. Um, um, volume mount where it is required. So again, you can um, go to um, the, the YAML file to see, to understand where to insert it. So for each container you are going to create, you have um, volume mount over here. So you will put um, information um, over here regarding the volume mount and um, on the same level as um, as container, you have um, volume when you will insert information. So um, this is what I did over here. You have in the volume mount, I put the volume mount that I have um, over here, volume mount, it's all these parts that I'm going to to, to send as a um, value and in the volume as well I use the same technique and load all these contents to put it in where it should be put okay so um, you can see that we have some in its containers uh, it's, it's uh, some work around um, in kubernetes and openshift if you have to deal with volume you have to provide the right to right in, uh, in into those volume so there is one workaround to create initial uh, init containers uh, which is going to give you the right to do whatever you want on the volume so again um, you you uh, to to be able to to, to use them just go uh, to um, uh, kubernetes documentation and see how does it look like to how to to insert uh, uh, in its containers, then you will be able to put it on your um, your operators. Mm. Is it uh, clear? Do you have any any question? Any question so far? Okay. So now let's um, um, see. Uh, so now let's see um, um, Grafana, um, um, how to create a Grafana um, um, uh, put. 
Uh, I don't know if my connection is right. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, we can. Uh, we can. Uh, ah. yeah. Okay, okay. Because uh, I lost my connection with the VPN. Okay. Uh, so over here you have uh, where I will uh, show a bit the, how to create Grafana. Grafana is very easy to deploy. So you just need to um, to provide the image and the ports, and uh, that's it. Uh, there is it doesn't require any any volume. Um, uh, so the creation of this kind of um, components will be very easy. So uh, it will it will be a bit difficult if you have a volume. So you need to provide all this information, and uh, yes, but it's not difficult. Um, it, you have just to be uh, very um, 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 so to analyze um, uh, block by block to analyze each block and to to find how to insert this information. Okay. So in the end, we are going to, after having proper the ports and the service, uh, we are going to um, uh, to assign those uh, ports to a, a cough uh, lib and uh, provide um, uh, for the port, we will add port for the service, we will add a service and the body. Okay, and um, after that, we will need to communicate to a Kubernetes uh, API. Um, so uh, I said I I have one um, um, one uh, one slide um, with the documentation, so you can go there and to see. But to to be able to communicate it, uh, you you need to. To, to use Kubernetes like this. So because we imported Kubernetes over there, so we can uh, use it and the client. Okay, we have the API object. Uh, then with this API, we can create um, a names um, spaced port by uh, putting the namespace um, 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 variable and um, the port or object that we prepare over there. Okay, uh, then we can uh, print some information. And uh, after that, we can create our service and uh, print. And in the end, you can return a message. So um, uh, for example, if you, um, over here, we, we, we know uh, how to handle uh, two uh, type of objects. Uh, so if, uh, for example, uh, there is uh, some um, object that you, the type of object is not provided. Um, you can, um, for example, do things like um, um, this, and uh, you can um, raise uh, an exception and um, handle uh, um, exception like this. And you can put um, some information. So uh, the type is uh, required, something like this. So uh, if um, um, the your resource you want to the, the object you want to deploy uh, doesn't have any any type, so uh, this message will be displayed, and um, the operator will just stop over there. So over here, you can um, implement any kind of um, a logic that you want. Uh, the most interesting thing is to, to have um, to know um, say the decorators, to use the decorators. So each one, each one, each time you want to create something and uh, decorate your function with the create decoration provided by the framework and resume as well if you want to, to perform some operation when your operator starts and uh, restart and each time you remove your object also you need to um, to uh, um, to decode your function okay so now we are going to see um, the um, how to 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 build uh, this uh, handler the handler is just a uh, um, python uh, script and uh, those um, um, package uh, those packages require Python 3 um, to, to, to run. So we prepare a Docker file. So, uh, and we started from uh, Python uh, 3.7 and we installed um, uh, the framework, COP, 
uh, F as a dependency and also Kubernetes. And um, we copy the handler in the same, um, in the, the root um, folder. And then we also copy uh, this file that contains the information of uh, the volume of uh, Prometheus. And then the command to, to start is um, the cop run in standalone. And you have to, to, to specify the, the, the handler. And verbose over here is for a debugging purpose to be able to see the logs. If you remove it, you will not be able to see the logs. So now uh, let's go and um, um, and build. Okay, I I lost my my SSH my VPN connection. So um, I will restore it. Okay, let's go and find and. Um, Jean-Didier, I couldn't hear you <clears throat> anymore. I don't know if this is a problem on my side or not. No, it is not Joseph. I also lost him. Okay, okay. Yes, you. Hello, thank you. You said something? Uh, Jean Jean Didier, we yeah. uh, all of us lost you about uh, one minute ago when you tried to reconnect to your SSH. We lost you. Ah, okay, okay. So I I reconnected to the SSH for having access to um, where I deploy my Kubernetes cluster. So now I'm going to uh, I'm going to to deploy and uh, uh, to create the image of the operator. So uh, since we are um, uh, located. You are you are aware that you are no longer sharing, are you? Ah, ah, wait, wait. Uh, I lost my connection with, sorry. So now, okay. Okay, can you see now? Uh, in one minute, we will see. We, we see that it starts probably mm -hmm. a few more seconds. Can you see now? Uh, I only see starting to share content, but it's still starting. On yeah. my side. I don't know what with us, others. Can the same here. The same here. Also, let's have... Okay. Um, okay. Entire screen allows. Can you see it now? Starting to share content. Wait, I will I will restart again. <clears throat> mm. Okay, can you see now? Um, still not. Hmm. Wait, I will try to, to refresh. Hmm. No, it's okay. No, don't refresh. <laughs>
So I refreshed everything. So I'm going to share again my screen. Okay. Um, now, can you see my screen? Can you hear me? No, thank you. I mean, it's still seeing this is starting to start content message. Maybe let's wait a few more seconds. Maybe. Oh, okay. okay. Needed? I don't know. I will. I will try. I will try to share my my content to see if it is working, and then. Oh, okay. Okay. I will stop try. sharing. I will stop sharing mine. Okay. Okay. I stopped. So try to share yours. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I, I share a single file. Maybe I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, okay. I stop now. Stop sharing. Mm, okay. So, so let's... You can maybe you you can share only your browser. I don't know. Yeah, I need to share the um... everything. Yeah, and then uh, wait, I can um, the terminal where I'm writing code. Oh, okay. It's, yeah. No. And start. Um. Okay, can you see? Can you see my screen? Yeah, no, it's the same issue. Yeah. Yeah, same. You cannot see anything. No, it says uh, share, uh, starting to share content. Oh, la la. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah. Given the, this uh, technical uh, inconvenience uh, and given the fact that we have five minutes, what I suggest is that you you describe without showing us. You describe in one minute uh, what you wanted to show us and then we will have a, f a few more minutes for possible questions. Because okay. Anyway, anyway, we still have five minutes. Okay. So uh, what I wanted to, to show is that from the files that uh, I uh, we constructed uh, step by step, um, um, we first uh, started by creating um, the um, uh, the uh, custom um, uh, resource definition. Then we created the service account, and the third step we create a binding to assign administration role to the operator. And uh, I show the, the logic part of uh, the operator when you will implement um, um, functionalities um, of your operator. And um, after that, um, you will have to create an image. So uh, since the, you, you, we are using the uh, Pythonic framework, um, the Python uh, tree is required. So the image you are going to create will um, start from uh, Python tree. Uh, then after having created the image, it's um, a standard way of creating Docker image. It's, there is nothing special over there. Then you are going to uh, create a deployment um, um, file, um, a Kubernetes deployment file of your operators. It's um, um, over there. I would like to show uh, some um, small information because it's a bit different. Uh, because in, in this deployment file, you will have to specify the service account. So anyway, I will 
um, I upload everything on the repository so you can uh, see uh, everything. And after having created the uh, the, the deployment um, um, the file, you will deploy on your cluster. And if you deploy on your cluster, um, you will be able to deploy components which will have the kind that you declare uh, in your custom resource definition. So since your operator has the knowledge of those components, you saw that um, when I, I was uh, showing in the creation function of the operator, um, um, if you, you receive a, a certain type, you have a certain way of handling um, uh, the demand of the user. So you know which image to load, which port to open, and if uh, the components requires any volume or not. So you will be able to your your operator will be able to to create object without any problem. So uh, I'm sorry for this um, uh, technical uh, problem. It will be interesting to show how it is working and the full version. Um, anyway, we are going to um, to share all the files uh, in the in repositories for allowing you to 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 see them and to adapt to your use case. Okay. Um, um, do you have any any question? Thanks a lot, uh, Jean Didier, mm -hmm. for uh, this interesting uh, webinar. Uh, uh, do, do can you give if you have uh, also a pointer to uh, some you know all informations for uh, for a uh, various kind of. Uh, of uh, connectors and in fact when the, you you shown that for grafana this is very simple you don't need a, a volume for uh, yeah. prometheus, prometheus you need the volume but maybe there are other intricacies and uh, uh, is there a, a place where uh, various kind of intricacies are dealt with and explained so mm. that it would save time for people mm, okay. developing their connector mm. Okay, that's a good question. Uh, so what I used to do uh, to find uh, how to deploy an application uh, without um, um, going to um, any website or finding any information, I will first try to deploy this component without using an operator. So I will write the uh, deployment file and the port definition of uh, this, uh, this component. Uh, then I will translate this definition to a JSON file and replace um, a variable where uh, it's needed. Um, then I will use the same um, um, logic of creating a pod and um, it, it will just work. Uh, so what you, you, you have to, to know, if you want to deploy an application, you should know um, which are the requirements of uh, this application. Is the application you want to deploy uh, needs any volume, it needs um, any um, writing um, a write um, to a specific volume. If it needs uh, all this information, the first thing to do is to try to create first a deployment that you would have without an operator. If you have uh, this form, you can translate it to a JSON, then you will have a structure um, um, on which you can work on your, uh, you can um, embed into your operator and um, to apply the exactly the same logic, exactly the same logic. You have a, a, a function which uh, must be triggered by a specific action on your cluster. It could be uh, resume, update, create, and you will receive some uh, uh, parameters. Those parameters uh, contain information of the type you want to create, and you can prepare the type um, um, according to uh, the uh, components definitions. Yeah. Okay, th thank you. This is uh, quite clear, uh, Jean Didier. Uh, do we have uh, maybe one or two more questions uh, for Jean Didier? Anyone? Remarks. Yeah, if you have a um, um, question offline, we can we can discuss. There is no there is no problem. Okay. 
Okay, so so thanks uh, thanks again, uh, Jean Didier. I will uh, post uh, the the pointer of the recording so that mm -hmm. uh, other people may uh, may profit from from this webinar. And uh, thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Uh, b before uh, closing, I will. Uh, uh, quickly share some uh, useful links in the in the chat so you can um, uh, you can um, so before closing I will send it to the uh, we have the message okay message to everyone Okay, so those are uh, useful links. If you can copy and try to um, um, to to yes. to, to read it. for further information, we have uh, um, I provide a GitHub repository when you can see all the code I I provided for this uh, first version of the operator. Yeah. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.